Hello and welcome back to some more weird news adventures. Don't know what we're going to find today. I don't think we ever really know. That's the fun. You can't hear the air quotes, but there are definitely air quotes around fun. So let's dive into the beeb. I, I can't type today. I just can't. Okay, holy balls, have you ever seen a better stock image of the average American fantasy man? That, that would be it. You type in need American jock man into, into Getty images and that is what you would get. It's 25, minimum age to serve in Congress. Well, congrats to him. He is quite literally the poster child. I'm actually impressed. Tanzanian miner becomes overnight millionaire. A small scale miner in Tanzania has become an overnight millionaire after selling two rough Tanzanite stones, biggest ever find in the country. He earned 2.4 million pounds. There will be a big party tomorrow. Yeah, you think. Father of more than 30 children. They are just, they're, they're waiting for him to be an old man, that's for sure. 30 children? Not with one woman, I hope. Jesus, what does she look like? I mean, she's basically just a human uterus at this point. It's one of the rarest gemstones on earth. The supply may be entirely depleted within the next 20 years. And he found 33 pounds of it. That is extraordinary. Wow, it is very pretty, that's for sure. Oh, he's got four wives. Still, that's a lot of kids per wife. He would slaughter one of his cows to celebrate. Yep, that's lost in translation on me. I want to build a shopping mall and a school. I want to build a school near my home. That's lovely. That's good. I'm not educated, but I like to run things in a professional way. So I would like my children to run the business professionally. You know what? Good on that man for investing his success back into his community and his family. That's amazing. I know most dads would just use this as an opportunity to go buy a sports car and fuck off for the rest of their lives, but good for him. That's, that's a good story. I'm really, I'm really happy we found this one. Um, good luck to this man, his four wives and their 30 children. They are having a very happy day right now. And, uh, and the community will also be richer for it. So that's, that's very positive. Congrats, Mr. La Laser? Laser? Con well, congratulations to you. Okay, what else? EU is burning Americans. Americans are burning Americans. We are quite rightly fucked. Cool. Thanks. Iran arrests men for selling babies on Instagram. Do I even want to click on that? I don't think, I don't, no, no, not clicking on it. Just kidding, I need to fucking know. Three men have been arrested in Iran on suspicion of trying to sell two babies on Instagram. Allegedly said he was getting babies from poor families and handing them over to families who could provide a better future. Do we believe that? I don't know. It's The world is dark. Not the first such case. Oof, that is not funny at all. Not remotely funny. Why do I click on this? It's not funny. This is not what we're here to do. Why do Westerners love to use toilet paper? Mm -hmm. Honestly, honestly, they love it too much. What month are we in now? Month four? I think it's month four of the pandemic and the shops here still have no loot paper anywhere. Predictable, predictable, predictable. Why feeling overwhelmed is exhausting. I swear to God, BBC, if you do one more of these articles that I don't need to click on to answer, you, you're just wasting front page space. Are there people who really don't know why feeling overwhelmed is exhausting? Of course it's exhausting. You're trying to process too many things at once. US and Canada. I, I don't know why I click on US and Canada anymore. That's just silly. Pubs where drinkers hid in cupboards loses license. Oh, this sounds like something we're looking for. Pub has been stripped of its license after police found drinkers hiding in cupboards during the coronavirus lockdown. Pittsmore Hotel in Sheffield was raided by police on the 24th of April after reports it was still serving customers. <sighs> That's Looney Tunes level. Impose potentially unlimited fines. That's a loophole. Pittsmore Hotel was forced to shut after the raid on 24th of April with South Yorkshire Police and Sheffield City Council issuing the pub with a prohibition order. But when police returned the next day following reports from the public, it was still serving customers. Officers found people who were on the roof to make it look like no one was inside. People need their drinks. Uh, what can you say? That is hysterical. The, I mean, I want more information about you know, I, I want I want first-hand witness accounts of people rushing to hide in cupboards. Somebody went, oi, the police are here, quick, hide. 
and everybody just dove into cupboards. It's pretty good. Hmm. Everything predictable, predictable. Okay. Uh, what else can we click on? Science. Is there a reason why this isn't loading? We need pictures. I demand pictures. Why has the internet died? Oh, wow. Well, this is um, this is abysmal. What if what if I go back to the home page? Oh no, the beep has crashed. No internet. What? I have internet. What are you on about? Do I have internet? Yes, I do. You're full of shite, BBC. <sighs> okay. Is it down or just me? Okay. Um, let's try this again on my other computer. Is it down or just me? It's just me. BRB, guys. As I'm waiting for my computer to restart, I've I'm actually out of habit just opened the app on my phone. Oh god, I'm a news addict. And possibly the worst way. Maybe the best way. I don't know. Depends on how you look at it. I'm on computer. Oh my god, I'm gonna be 80 by the time this loads. Oh, we made it. All right. Where were we? We were on science. Okay. You know the world's ending. When you see the words Arctic Circle combined with this photo. Yikes. Greta was in hiding for a while. Greta has deemed it safe to pipe up. That's hilarious. Whale skeleton removal specialist sort. That's a job people aspire to have. I specialize in removing whale skeletons, said no one ever. Skeletons which include a huge tuna fish and a 40 foot whale need to be moved since the museum is having a major redevelopment. Go away. Nobody cares, Creative Cloud. Nobody cares about you. Thank you. Mars prepares tiny chopper for Mars flight. I mean, NASA, not Mars. God, I can't read. Jesus. Engineers preparing the next American Mars rover have installed one of its most exciting experiments, a chopper. The mini helicopter is regarded as a bonus on the 2020 mission. Oh, I hope they put some googly eyes on it. It needs googly eyes. You can't call it mini helicopter and refer to it as a bonus if you don't put googly eyes on it. We already developed feelings for the Mars rover, so, you know, continue with the chopper. Don't know if it will survive the landing, but we can try. Tech? Jesus, these ads are enormous. Oh my god. I'm actually surprised BBC didn't uh, put auto-delete in quotes. Have we become too reliant on big tech firms? Again, with the the articles, I don't need to click on to answer. You know, they used to try. They used to actually try to clickbait you, but now you can't even do that. God, these ads. PayPal, you're in my face. I was hallucinating asparagus today in things you didn't expect to hear. <laughs> Why were you hallucinating? Seemingly not on any drugs. Interesting. Okay. Let's see if there's anything cute in pictures. No. No. Let's check the local. This is the world we live in. Despite protests and reopening, Bay Area COVID data is stable and on the exact same row, Bay Area County's increase is worrisome. Stable. Worrisome. Stable. Worrisome. This is a period of time marked by the phrase, which is it? Oh, look at this cute mouse. He gets itchy from watching a video. That's nice. Hello, sir. Oh, oh my God, what's that? No, go away. Itchy sushi permanently closed after 10 years in SF. Itchy sushi, probably not the greatest name for any kind of restaurant. Nope, local's too depressing. Hell with that. Well, that's it, people. That's it for today. The obstacles of my computer deciding not to load Chrome or the internet were conquered, and uh, we managed to find a couple of things to chuckle at. So if you also shared in this chuckle, you know, thumbs up button, like button, whatever you want to call it. Other than that, you know, if you've been making coy eyes at the subscribe button and, um, haven't made a move yet. I think subscribe button is a willing participant in the move of clicking it. So that, that would also be very welcome and consensual if you would click the subscribe button. Otherwise, I uh, look forward to seeing you again for the next one. My dear 10 viewers or however many I've got on average. I'm having fun. I hope you're having fun. Want to keep this up. So uh, do the things.